Hi, this is Bert Berger, and right now I'm going to be taking you some, through some of the features of the hybrid 8-ball model. So originally when we first developed this board, there was uh, a competitive longboarding division in Australia uh, for 8-foot boards. And so the judging criteria was not the same as the 9-foot boards, where the focus was more on traditional longboarding, but they applied a shortboard criteria to an 8-foot board. So when this board was designed, it was really designed around as much performance as you can get shortboard style surfing out of an eight foot board. Then later on, what we found was that it became really popular amongst bigger guys and also older guys who wanted more paddle power, but still wanted to get on the tail and really throw the board around. So one of the outstanding features about this board is that it has a, a longer, more drawn out nose and we've moved the widest point closer to the tail. So what that does is that puts a short board back end onto this board. So as you're leaning into a bottom turn and you're using the midsection of the board, it'll draw a nice line around the section, but then as your weight transitions onto this hip and this pronounced bump, it literally will square off a bottom turn and make it really easy to go vertical or to do a nice tight hook in the pocket. So this board can be surfed really tight off the tail. Of course, with the area and the length of the board, it gives a good paddle power. So what we've done on the rocker is, opposed to a flatter rocker that you'll see in a lot of eight foot boards, this has a, a, a relative amount of rocker. Like it's like a, a performance rocker. So again, that keeps the board nice and free, keeps the front end nice and loose. So, and the tail we've bought in quite thin and nice and refined. So again, it's kind of for high performance surfing off the tail. So if I had to generalize about this board, also this board is a really good board if you don't have a quiver. Like if you're only going to own one board, this board covers a, a really good range of conditions. It's big enough to be able to still catch small waves. It's got enough paddle power to still get you over the edge on a bigger wave. You can make sections, get around sections, and if you step back onto the tail, you can still throw it around, surf it tight in the pocket. So all up, it's a, it's a really good board if you're only going to own one board.